My name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. We have been blessed with several incredible series this past year. The Bear is one of them. The Bear immerses audiences in the exhilarating world of culinary pursuits. As I fetch what's baking in the oven, let's talk about season one and two of The Bear. The Bear first aired on Hulu in 2022. Amidst the tragic loss of his brother, Carmen is faced with the daunting task of reviving his late brother's struggling restaurant. On a deadline to fix up a new restaurant, the already fragmented staff grapple with personal issues, straining their ability to work together. The Bear defines a captivating portrayal of the fast-paced nature of the restaurant industry. Each episode brimming with tension and characters racing around the kitchen striving to meet demands, the Bear emphasizes finding a balance between professional work life and mental health. Jeremy Allen White is a standout as Carmen Berzato. Perfectly embodying the essence of the show, White also went to cooking school and worked in multiple kitchens. Carrying too many burdens on his shoulder, Carmen grapples with an overwhelming load of responsibilities while suppressing tumultuous emotions. One of my favorite parts about any cooking or restaurant show are the characters. Not only does the cast deliver exceptional performances, but they also had the opportunity to showcase their culinary talents by handling all the cooking on the show. While the setting may resemble a typical restaurant, the dynamic within the ensemble is a stark contrast to the narrative. Shouting at each other and undergoing their own life stresses, to name a few, Evan Moss Bachrach, A.O. Ediberry, Lionel Boyce, and Lisa Colon Zayas are strong actors. The day the Emmy nominations were announced, I cheered when I.O. Ediberry was listed for her performance. Aside from White, if there's anybody, Ediberry deserves one. She does a spectacular job in her role as Sydney, administering a strong demeanor for the character. If there's any character who I want to strangle, it's Richie, played by Moss McGrock. I don't blame Sidney for wanting to strangle him. His character grew on me more in season two once we learn more about his backstory. Richie is a complex character and tackles his issues. To ensure authenticity of the food preparation scenes, the dedicated cast members took on the task of actually prepping the food themselves. Filmmakers skillfully crafted the kitchen to evoke a claustrophobic space, effectively amplifying the inherent stress and tension. I'm not sure why the bear is listed as a comedy. With a deadline to meet, characters continuously screaming orders at one another, and the long stream of F-bombs in episode 6 of season 2, it's more of an intense drama. One could write a whole analysis based on episode 6 and its clever setups, character dynamics, and subtle imagery. Christopher Storer didn't just highlight the restaurant world, but also how to embrace life matters in healthier practices. The final episode of season 2 falls short of the climactic impact I was expecting. Nevertheless, the journey leading up to the finale remains compelling enough to keep viewers engaged until the very end. Check out The Bear on Hulu. It's easy to get hooked from the first episode. With its exceptional performances, remarkable editing, and stunning camera work, audiences are kept engaged throughout the entire series. What made you start watching The Bear? Next time, we're taking a little trip. I'm going to be reviewing the overlooked film Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Join me in Toontown next week. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle, and this has been another one of my movie reviews.